We've heard about this fiscal black hole. How do we get to this figure of 50 to 60 billion pounds? And can one challenge that amount or is that set in stone? It's not set in stone and we don't really know where this 50 or 60 billion pounds black hole has come from, frankly, because if you just look at what's been happening over the last uh, month or two, we had the mini budget of September the 23rd um, that had unfunded tax cuts of about 45 billion. Most of that has been reversed already. So 35 billion roughly of that is now being saved. So you would imagine that on that basis, you just have 10 billion to find possibly. Um, in addition, what has happened is that the electricity price freeze, which was supposed to be almost never ending. So we had two years of this freeze at, uh, uh, at the, the price of two and a half thousand pounds per average household. Well, that is now going to be only six months. It had been estimated that that would cost hundreds of billions, possibly, depending on what would happen to the gas prices, of course, and electricity prices more generally. But that is now just for six months. Uh, and also similarly, of course, for businesses, which was going to be six months anyway, but it was going to be reviewed. So there could be something more that comes in terms of support. So we have to assume that that would be the case. But it is unlikely it's going to be the open ended support, more or less, uh, that was promised at the time. So you could argue there isn't any real fiscal hole there. But I think what the government is trying to do is ensure that the capital markets, which had been quite frightened at the time with the mini budget, now see a plan ahead in terms of how we can get back to possibly the debt to GDP ratio coming down at some point, which could be in three years time, which is one of the fiscal rules that has been around for ages, but hasn't actually been met yet for quite some time. And um, uh, we might actually get a five year period during which you need to do it. anything that gives some guarantee that this sort of uh, you know move towards fiscal prudence again uh, is going to be pursued. Um, it's going to be good news for the markets. But in terms of what type of hole it is that we're trying to fill in, then, uh, frankly, loads of us are agnostic about it.